Good evening and welcome to our inaugural Big Questions. This evening we'll be asking the question, how can we be better stewards of our environment? You see all these issues in your community and you don't see the changes that you want to see and so you've got to get out into the community there or out into the streets to actually uh, make those protests trying to make a difference. Sometimes you just got to stand up and be counted. It shows a huge amount of goodwill to be here. So thank you from all of us for turning up. We appreciate it. And we need you, you know, as we, as we go through this whole series. So I think that says a tremendous amount. You're here, thank you very much. First trip to a volcano, I was working with someone uh, called Opp Oppenheimer and I saw something that I'll never forget. And what you could see was a ring of fire surrounding the crater and then we looked up at the sky and there was just you know cloudless far from any street lights beautiful sky and then i just looked in and i saw the void of the of the crater that had created all of this and you got to imagine this in the pitch black working on a volcano contains many experiences like that which remind us of how small we are in this magnificent world from the point of view of volcanology, I would say I'm very grateful to have witnessed nature's might firsthand and to report back and say that this lovely concrete environment that we live in right now is completely atypical of what the world's really like. We need to just remember our place in the world and act accordingly. Reconciliation, the reason why it's so, so incredibly important for all of humanity is that it's not just only reconciliation with each other. We also have to reconcile our differences with, our, with his creation, with our environment, because we've wrecked it so much. We don't have a very good relationship with it. You know, there is no new earth. This is it. One of the motivations for me has always been this text in John's Gospel, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, the cosmos, and the challenge, I think, is, is theological because Western theology has reduced that whole cosmos down to you, the individual. God loves you, but God still loves his world. And I know that we have the capacity to turn it around. We can change the world. 